Augmented reality birthday invitations. Who knew? Recently did, did one for our son for his birthday. Coming up, he's 10. So I just wanted to show you how you can create your own for free. So here we have Sarah Connor. She's going to have her birthday August 29th. And you saw those buttons fading. Let's just refresh that. I'm going to show you, like I said, I'm going to show you how you can create this your own for free. It's very easy and how to use Canva. So and how to add these little fade animations as well. So in this case, the tap here to RSVP, I have it just going to our website contact page. This can be a phone number, email address. You can tell what to do in the system and I'll show you how it's done. I'm just going to go back. I'm also going to go tap to place robot. What kind of robot would Sarah Connor get? So in this case, this is uh, just another URL that I was able to attach to the tap to place robot. No code required on any of this. I'm just going to go tap to place in my space. And now we have a robot and ah, it's coming at me, right? So let's do this. Let's get started. So this is what we're going to be creating. This is the element underneath that's a, actually a video file. If you notice that it would start playing. So we're going to show you how to do that in Canva as well as place this content and be able to tell it what the URL is going to be as well as bring up the animations and bring in some Sketchfab content uh, that you can do uh, use for free. So I'm just going to quickly uh, delete this cast because I'm going to be recreating it from scratch. So I'm just going to pause this recording. Define and edit your cast. All you have to do is go to the right hand side and go to view cast. This is where your cast will be. This is where you can see the basic analytics. If you need to edit, you can go to edit and it will open up the cast. If you want to delete it, you simply go delete and go delete and the cast is gone off the system. To create some of those cool text elements I had, I use textstudio.co. That allows me to quickly grab any element I want for free and be able to pick a style I want and just quickly go in here and start uh, typing. And you can simply go to uh, background, uh, make it transparent, and go download. And medium's good enough for most casts. All right, I deleted that uh, cast so I can start from scratch. So what you're going to want to do is go to studio.worldcast.io, pick print cast, and go freemium if you want to make one for free. Of course, we'd love if you want to use the premium services, and that's $10 per cast. So in this case, we're going to go uh, birthday, party, uh, Connor. Let's just go next. At this point, it's going to ask us if we want to upload our own file for uh, desktop or design on Canva. In this case, I'm going to go design on Canva. I'm just going to quickly go to another tab here. And this is what I did in Canva already. I'm going to bring in the designs and show you how it's done and we can still edit them. But in this case, Canva lets me export an MP4. I dragged and dropped within Canva a video, and this could be your own video, of course. And the first frame, I want to make sure it was on the first frame because that's my marker image. When it starts in the AR, I want it to start in that first frame and just look like it's taking over and playing from that first frame, right? <clears throat> so in Canva, when you do this, you just have to go share and then uh, go download and pick MP4. And you can just download the MP4 right from here, which will work in Printcast. So let's go start creating this. So let's go back to Worldcast. Let's go design on Canva. I'm going to pick invitation five and a half by five and a half. You have different choices here. Now you can browse for one, or you can go to your designs on the left-hand side. If you're already logged into Canva, you can also log in here as well. I'm going to pick Sarah Connor, and that's the exact image I want it. Now we're going to replace that QR code later with the new one that's generated. So let's just go export to Printcast, and this will bring it right back into the system and analyze the image to make sure that's going to be a good tracking image for you. If you have some low scores, you can go to the style guide and the style guide will help out you understand what makes a good marker and what doesn't. So in this case, everything is great. We got like 100%. Let's go create. So once we're in the system, we have the ability up here. You can see rotate camera, pan camera, and zoom. All the instructions are there to be able to rotate zoom around and move the canvas around uh, very nice and easy. You can also hit F11 on a PC and go to full screen mode. So in this case, I'm just going to quickly go to the video on the, on the left hand side. I'm just going to click that. I'm going to go select the file and I'm just going to grab the file that I already had exported from Canva. We can give the title a name if we want. In this case, I'm not going to do so. So I'm just going to go upload video and I'm quickly just going to grab this middle ring and scaled up to the size of the actual 
print so that it matches up the original size of what it, what it was. All right, so now I'm gonna go to Sketchfab and let's just quickly recreate what I uh, showed earlier. So let's just go Rocket. Let's turn on Animate it because I want an animated Rocket. So let's just grab this one. There's lots to choose from. You can mix and match. You don't have to use what I'm using. I'm just using, showing this for, uh, uh, to show you can quickly create content. I'm just gonna snap it up and rotate it there and make it a little bit bigger. This isn't gonna be an exact copy of what I just did, but it'll be darn close. I'm just gonna go Sketchfab again. And I'm just gonna go back and go number four. I found this cool number four. It was kind of like, uh, fits the line of the Terminator kind of elements. I always like doing uh, pop culture when I'm making things. So let's just go import. Let's uh, just rotate that down. You can, you can use the uh, nodes to either go in 45s or smooth rotate or snap the 45s. And you can, of course, undo your moves. I'm just going to move this down over here. Oops, I grabbed the video. Let's just go undo. Make sure we grab that four again. Perfect. And let's just move it down here like so. And I'm just going to take the uh, <clears throat> folder that I have. I'm going to show you can actually drag and drop content into the system as well. So I have these two objects, uh, tap place robot and tap your RSVP. I'm just going to drag them onto the canvas. Just going to go proceed for both of them. I'm going to just quickly take uh, tap here for robot, make it bigger. i will grab the tap here to RSVP. And we'll just make it bigger as well. And we'll just move it up. We, we can of course bring these out in, in real space if we want. We can like put this on a 45 degree angle if we want. We're not limited to being locked to the environment. So in this case, I'll just do that. Uh, actually, I'll do it for the bottom one. Let's just go like this. Up here, we're just gonna go to the, uh, let's have to go to our website for now. And we'll just have it fade. We'll just go three and three for now. It's fine. And down here, we'll just bring this one up on a little bit of a 45. And let's bring it out. There we go. All right. And let me just go quickly grab the showcast that I made with the Terminator. Uh, and I'll put a link how you can design content in this as well. So we're just going to go to the cast list and just grab the URL for this Terminator go back to the design, click here, and we're just going to paste that in there, and we're just going to have it go four and four, just so it has a second delay after, and that should look good. Maybe we'll just add a little bit of a glowing effect on this one. There we go. Let's just go uh, save, save and publish. All right, we'll just scan this QR code. Now we can go preview now and use the image that's on the screen or the printout, of course. So if you haven't printed it yet, you can use the image that's on your screen and be able to just look at it and bring up that content. And this time, I'm reason, the reason I'm using my monitors, I wanted to show that I placed that content on a 45 degree angle this time. So it'll look the same on here as well. So if we're looking down on it, that text is now angled on that 45 degree slope. So that's how easy it is to make the content in Printcast and be able to be able to make something for free. And it's just, it's just that simple. So once you have your design, all you have to do is just go over to the uh, view cast and you can just quickly find it by typing in the uh, name of the cast, or you can go by the sort it. In this case, we we'll go birthday party Connor, and you can just download that PNG. And all you have to do is go back into your design on uh, on the uh, on Canva, which we're going to do right now. So let's just go to the cast properties on the right hand side of the little clipboard. We're going to go select a new file. We're gonna go edit on Canva. Here's our little QR code. What we wanna do is bring in a new, a new image. So we can just 
literally drag and drop this new QR code right in here. I'm just going to delete this one and we'll place this one over here. I'm sure there's an easy replace function in Canva. I'm not very proficient on it yet, but it is integrated in our system for those Canva users that understand every little system. And we'll just go back, export to Printcast, and now you could, you could export and print off that image as is. So when the user scans that QR code, it will go to the actual, uh, it, that QR code will be bound to the print. And we just go update and then save and uh, give it at least a minute after you change an image to be able to look at it in Printcast, but any other time the changes would be instant. And that's how easy it is to make an interactive birthday card for free in Printcast. Of course, you can go up to the premium and get a couple extra features, but uh, you, you have the ability to bring in Sketchfab, have 3D models available to you, make it with personalized content in Canva. Uh, if you're not a designer, we've got you covered with templates. You can just quickly go grab, and you can have the ability to actually bring in other content that you make like uh, in uh, Showcast. So all you have to do in Showcast is literally go uh, create a Showcast, uh, pick uh, Freemium or Premium as well. Uh, you can access the library of Sketchfab, maybe it's Pokemon characters you want to bring into the room at full size, have your kids take pictures with Pokemon, take screenshots of them standing by the by their favorite characters. You can bring them in size and place, place them in reality as well and just have it linked back to the card with a URL. Everything's URL based and everything is no code. So I cannot wait to see what you create.